you can see the color is just like blending. Um, it looks really pretty, like a galaxy kind of, with a little tint of green. Welcome, Welcome back, back to, to the Star Beauty channel. channel. Yay! <laughs> Today we're going to be testing the color effect color wax on natural hair. So, because so many people ask about results, you know, that's why we just show them first. This one is uh, the color, color pack, magic color pack, like here. So most people use Mopajang color wax, but this is a little different brand. So we gonna try three color today. This uh, green and then purple and blue. Purple and blue. Oh, already you open it? Yeah. Just uh, when you open the cap, ceiling like this. So just you can open the ceiling. So in these directions, it says that it can be used on either wet or dry hair, but results are best when it's damp. So on his hair. We're gonna do one wet section and one what? dry section to test which color shows better and when it's damp. Um, and today we're gonna be testing two different sections, wet and dry. And when it's gonna be wet, it's gonna be mostly on the damp side because it says the damp sides are the best shown results. So we're gonna go ahead and test these and I'll explain how to apply when we're applying. So they recommend the pour. Best result to come out like a little bit wet. So the materials we have today are very simple. We just have a spray bottle with water in it to dampen the hair and then any desired hair color. So I'm gonna go ahead and dampen one section and then leave one section dry. So I'm gonna go ahead and run this experiment on him. I'm gonna take a small strand and dampen it and then leave one strand right next to it dry. Oh yeah. Uh -huh. Okay, so I went ahead and just dampened this section, and then I'll do the dry section right here. What color do you want? Purple? Purple? I like purple. Okay. I ah, no, no. Blue? Blue. Purple? Blue. Blue? Okay, blue. Blue first. So it says rub desired amount of color effect on palms and fingers and glide through desired area to apply. So this is the desired area right here and then right next to here. And it says the product will not transfer until water is added. So once we do the color inside, we're going to wait for it to absorb and then wash. Okay, so this texture is very waxy. It almost feels like a pudding, kind of. Um, it's like melted clay wait, almost. Let me, let me touch it. Well, just like a wax gel. Uh, so wax obviously gel. I have gloves on right now. It's going to be hard to sense the actual sensation of this. But from now, that's what I'm getting. I'm going to go ahead and apply this onto his wet hair. Um, it smells kind of like the Axe deodorant, like the men's cologne. So I don't know that I would personally want this in my So I'm gonna go ahead and glide my fingers through his hair. I'm only doing a little bit, but I'm gonna try making the color. So it's hard doing it with gloves on, but I would still recommend doing it with gloves. Depending on how close you want it to the scalp and the roots, um, that's up to you. He personally doesn't want it that close. So yeah, my gloves are obviously stained. I'm gonna go ahead and do the next section right next to it that is dry so that you can easily compare. So I went ahead and applied the blue. I just did the damp sections. It says let dry naturally. So I'm not sure how long you leave this in. I think you're supposed to just let it dry. It also says you can use a hair dryer. But I'm gonna go ahead and apply the blue on a dry section over here. And then I'm gonna go ahead and do purple damp here and then purple dry. So now that I did the two blues, I'm gonna do purple wet. So I can see that the purple is more vibrant. I'm not sure that I even got that much more than I did of the blue. I'm gonna make sure to apply it as evenly as I can, although I do not have bare skin to touch this. Okay, so I covered a good amount damply on the purple. Look at it. <laughs> oh. Gloves look like galaxy. So I'm gonna do the next section dry. I also do think that if you want to moisturize your hair, you could moisturize it, but I don't think you would want to use too much of a gel 
product or a wax product as this is already so gel and waxy itself. And I'm gonna throw in a surprise for him. I'm gonna do a middle strip mix of blue and purple. And I'm gonna do it damp because it says damp would I'll the green. show better. I'll do green on the side. So I have purple and blue and I'm gonna mix them together. I'm gonna try to get like a pretty color mix. So I'm expecting like a periwinkle color kind of. So for comparison, this is the purple, blue, and then like the mix in the middle. All right, let's do this. What kind of come up? Periwinkle. It's like a baby blue periwinkle. I really actually love this color myself. Um, this will have large distribution between blue and purple in between. So I really think that this is, it is lighter, so I do want to apply more of it. Um, if you notice, it might be hard to see. There's a little more blue in one section and a little more purple in one section. I'm gonna try to just even that out. But I also don't think that that is necessary as the color is already so pretty itself. Yeah, I don't know if you can see the color difference, but definitely is like lighter. So also, if you guys wanna switch out your gloves in between, that's fine. I'm just not gonna do that for the sake of time. I have a paper towel next to me here. And then I'm gonna do one green here wet and then one green here dry. So make me pretty, okay? So as you can tell, I'm not really worried about all these colors mixing and touching each other. I think that's what's gonna make the look- I'm hoping that's what's gonna make the look more natural and blend it out. The green is lighter, so I'm gonna apply more as usual. So I have one green done, and then I'm gonna do the next section. So I also noticed that when the hair is damp, it applies more smoother and less effort. Uh, it is more difficult to apply on drier hair. So I also saw in videos that when people were doing this, they wanted their hair styled already. So like they pre-curled or put all this product in the way they wanted it to show up. So now I'm just gonna wait for this to dry. So now that I have all the color separated just for the sake of it blending, I'm gonna take like a small comb right here and just brush through. I was gonna use this to apply the color dye, but it didn't seem like it would be thorough and precise enough, so I used my fingers instead. I'm just gonna brush through, comb out the excess wax and gel that he has in his hair. It does look extremely blended and pretty. So there's highlights of all different colors all around. <laughs> it's like a funky hairdo right now, but. Yeah, so the periwinkle's kind of faded a little bit, but that's okay. So I'm gonna move a little bit of each section in towards the middle. So, clear your head down. Actually, I don't wanna see it. <laughs> Get closer. No, don't. Make Make a style like it. No. No? Why? No, because it looks better this way. Oh, so this is actually extremely pretty coloration that I want to take pride in myself. Can you get closer to the camera? Stand up. So that's what the coloration looks like. What? I think it's pretty. I can see. <laughs> Later. So I'll come back when the hair dye is dry. Woo! How it looks like color? It's good or not? Oh, it's not bad. Looks like not bad. Yeah. I'll wait for just to wait for my color wax to dry. I don't use a blow dryer right now. I'm just a natural hair. Just natural dry. Hello, Eliseo. Eliseo. Hello, hello, hello. Hello, hello. Hi, guys. So I'm gonna check that if it's dry. Um, the color isn't really leaving residue on my gloves. Um, there's obviously a little bit of pigmentation left. So I'm gonna take this as that it's dry. There are some chalky areas, but it's because not everything was combed out perfectly. I'm gonna go ahead and wipe this out with a few so paper we, towels. How long we take? The, five minutes? I think we waited about seven minutes-ish. Um, so what I'm really trying to see from this experiment is to see that it works on his hair. So what I'm testing on this experiment is that it will show up well on black hair. So his hair is like jet black rather than where mine is like highlighted and I don't know if you can see it's not actual black. So I'm going to go ahead and wipe this out. Um, I'm going to sandwich the hair in between and just see if I can rub it out. Okay, so we waited only like seven minutes. So there's like a little bit of color on the paper towels. Um, there is a lot of color left on his hair though. Like not all of it came out. It's obviously still a little like waxy and like 
it feels like it needs a wash, but I'm gonna try to comb this out and see if I can fix that. Yeah. Probably over 10 minutes, or if you wanna make a fast dry, just to use a blow dryer. Better. Yeah, I would recommend a hair dryer. This isn't really drying like naturally, um, even though I'm just like combing out. But I think the point, the color actually shows. And like his hair is black and his hair is hard to dye without like, um, that's how my hair was too. It's so good. this is, don't need a bleachy, that's one good thing, right? Yeah, so he's gonna try to style his hair right now. It's a little like moussey, like it looks like he already has gel in his hair. Yeah, this comb is too tight, the bigger. But yeah, if you like comb through, you can see like the color. And so this actually looks really good because I have like blue, purple, and green, mint, like everything, like a good mix of everything. Um, this obviously isn't how you want it to look because it's like, you can tell that something's up with his hair. So he's trying to style his hair how they normally would style it. Um, yeah, that's my normal style. Okay, so I tried to give him a little bit of volume underneath because there is a little bit of pressure that's like pressing against um i think that's as good as it's gonna get but if you look down there's like oh, stand up a little bit you can see the color just just like blending um it looks really pretty like a galaxy kind of with a little tint of green so as you can see i think it did show up as successful on black hair I don't know if some people want just like colored hair all the time, 100%, but for him, I know that's definitely not what he wants, but to try it out like this once in a while, I think is a good idea. Um, just to change it up, it's something different, something new. Um, I think we're gonna wash this out and see if the color actually stays in as it is right now or washes out for the most part. I don't know that it'll wash out completely, because it's not even 100% dry before it washed out. So he's gonna go ahead and wash this out. So I don't know if you can see the water. There's like a little bit coloration. Yeah, it seems like the color is coming out well. Dang, his color is actually really colored. And you know how color shows up more on white? So now you can actually start to see that. I do think that it's washing out though. Yeah, the water's colored. I would recommend not doing it like in a sink though, because the color's getting everywhere. And it's not as comfortable as you would do it if you were in like a bathtub or like a shower. So it seems like the color is coming out. It's just taking a while for it to actually all come out all the way. Just look at that mess that the color is. So you can still see the like the residue of the color in his hair. I don't know if you can see it from this lighting well, but it's definitely there. And this is after a good rinse. So now that I look at it, I don't really see any color left. So that was successful. It did all wash off completely. I am seeing that his hair is back to black. Um, there's not much color coming out in the shampoo anymore. So yeah, if you want to do something like this, I would recommend it because it is 100% temporary. So this is after he washed his hair. There's absolutely no color left. Um, he did mention to say there's absolutely no color left and he did mention that his hair did feel damaged. And so he did want to put conditioner in to completely bring his texture back. And yeah, his hair texture is actually smoother than the ones in the back. The feeling of it is gone. I don't see color like I said. If I run through, it's just completely black. So overall, I say that these products are extremely easy and simple to use. They are very reliable things that um, you can trust I, from what I've just seen now. I hope you enjoyed this experiment. <laughs> and I hope, I hope you enjoyed this video. Like, comment, and subscribe. Leave your opinions and comments and concerns down below. I want to know what you think about this. See you next time.